Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Nice to see everybody. Our dear friend, Sheikh Hassan, is in Israel, and he got in touch with me just a few moments ago and said that um, he has to go to something else, and he's not going to be with us today, so I'm the unworthy substitute. But like when you're in school and you got a substitute teacher, we're always much easier because, you know, we're just coming in and winging it. But I want to tell you what really, um, really what's, what's happening in Israel. The situation, and I'm not being overly dramatic, the situation uh, is difficult. And when Gassan called me, um, we spoke for a little bit and he said, please tell everybody, pray for me, it's really not safe. And then he started crying. So, um, you know, he's, he's our heart in, in Israel now. Um, he's there and I just want to make sure that we all, before doing anything, that we just take a moment and in our own way, inwardly, just send a prayer, send good thoughts, send good feeling. Um, you know, he's such a heart-centered being um, that it's really been very difficult this time being there. So let's take a moment. And in whatever way you wish, just send prayers of protection. Well, I'll tell him that everybody prayed for him, and I hope that you will continue to do that. And of course, pray for the peace. Pray for the peace of, in Israel and Palestine and throughout the world. Pray for the peace in human consciousness. That's really doing the work of a, a peacemaker also, besides the outer work. Do the inner work too. So Akbar and I, Chris and I were just talking a moment ago, and I thought instead of me leading a prayer vigil today, we could do something a little differently. And anyone who wishes to, just for 30 seconds or for one minute, just share a prayer out loud from your heart. And don't be shy. Nobody will judge anything you say. But it'd be nice to hear from other voices. So who'd, who would like to begin? You don't need to think, just pray, you know. <laughs> I I could call on somebody. Okay. I, I'll I'll go. Okay. I, I'm just feeling such love for all of you and for Gassan and for people in Israel and all over the world. And I just send my heart and uh, to land in peace. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. I mean. I, I see it on the on the tip of so many of your tongues. Spit it out. <laughs> yeah, my prayer is that we regain our balance, uh, come back into an alignment where we're uh, truly living in the presence of the one and treating each other and the planet accordingly. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. I pray, I pray that the pure understanding that at the depth of all hearts, peace is resident. And peace is not only possible, peace is inevitable through that connection we all share that is unspoiled and pure and powerful. Amen. Amen. It's so wonderful that to know that, even of course it's scary, but it's so wonderful to know that Gassan is in Israel now, and he is with his love and with his heart um, in this country. And I, I really believe that he can move something with his feeling, with his heartfulness. And so it's good to know that he's there. Yeah. Thank you. I pray all days that all beings will help us to live in peace all around the world. Yeah. Amen. Using Murshid Sam's definition, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. If you don't know, the definition is peace is power. <laughs> Amen. I pray that all beings, all humans in the Holy Land and in the world can look at each other with eyes of love and hearts open and see each other as equal beings in God's love. I mean. God willing. Mm -hmm. May all the holy beings that surround our planet of all the religions of all the time descend upon the hearts of all beings and create peace in them, that they may think of peace and not war, that they may honor that. And may those beings help all beings to achieve that. Amen. 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 I pray that they open the borders, they free the people, they keep Gassan's family and friends safe in Nazareth. And and that we just have resilience and fortitude and keep going forward, no matter what. The information is out there. Amen. Anyone else? So if you would, just close your eyes for a moment. And without trying to remember content, just remember the feeling of the last few minutes. The purity of prayer that came out of every mouth and every heart 
whether you spoke or didn't speak. And remember that for the heart and for the soul, nothing is impossible. It's only the mind that creates the, the reasons, the barriers. But there's no barrier in the heart or in the soul. And send the energy of your heart, of your soul, of your spirit. Send that out now with every breath. Because really the work of the Abrahamic reunion is to change consciousness. And it's through each of us and through us collectively that peace will emerge. We need peace on this planet everywhere. And our voices today, and in one sense, literally, have sung the song of peace. And really, we live in an echo chamber, and our words will be magnified and come back to touch all, all human beings, whether they're open or not. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. Peace, peace, peace. So we'll end today's vigil. But before we do, I want to share some good news. We, the Abrahamic Reunion, hosted a meeting last Thursday evening in Tel Aviv. And we had invited some very prominent people to come and share And we had um, hoped that we would have about 50 people in attendance. Well, the meeting was getting ready and they had just a sign outside saying what the meeting was, not a big sign, a sign so those looking could find it. And 145 people turned up. And after the meeting, which had prayers and people, leaders of the different religions, 
some people came to Gasan and said, you know, it was like, I think five people, we were real right wingers. We were supporters of Israel, no matter what. These are Israeli Jews. And they said, our point of view shifted tonight. So it's possible. It's really possible. And it, things are so difficult there, we don't often hear good stories. But out of the darkness, the light always emerges. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Thank you all. Thanks for the work that so many of you do outside of the vigil. Thanks for your financial support, your prayer support, your good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. So, blessings to us all. And I loved hearing all your voices. I have to say, this is personally, I just loved hearing you. So thank you for that. Blessings to all. Hold, hold Gassan and all of our friends in your heart who are there now. Thank you. And of course, thank you, Akbar, Chris Miller, who always gets this together. The constant, you know, the ever-present. <laughs> we'll have to change your name. No, not yet. Anyway, thanks to all. Blessings to all. Much love.